We're off to kill the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Link of the Past randomized. Oh look, it's Aghanim and Zelda. He's talking about how he's going to send her to the Dark World, which is then going to break the seven, the seal of the seven sages and release Ganon from his captivity. Ganon, whom at some point found the Triforce of Power and used it to, used his wish to turn, you know, the uh, Golden Land into, uh, you know, the Dark World where he reigns supreme, blah, 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 blah. Now, one thing they changed about Aghanim here is that he will... He used to have three attacks. He had this ball, which is you reflect back at him, which you can do with the... Which you don't even need, like, the sword to do. You can use the bug catching net to do this. It's really... The only reason you need the master sword is... just to get in this dungeon. And he has that lightning attack. And you can tell he's going to do the lightning attack if he's at the top of the screen like that, and he does not turn to you as you move. And I'll demonstrate how he turns. See how he's going to follow me as I move around the room? If he doesn't follow you when he's standing up here, then he's going to hit you with lightning. He used to have a... well, he does in the regular game. Uh, a attack where he shoots uh, these little blue, like, cloud-looking orbs at you. And you really can't do anything with them other than, you know, just dodge them. And... It, they removed it from the game because there's no way to damage him other than reflecting that orange ball back at him. So, if you if he has an attack that he that is basically just him killing time, there's just like no point. You know, it's just it's for speedrunners. You need to get rid of that so that you know they can win as fast as possible. This requires a super bomb that we will get later. And in there is something very, very awesome. But we're in the Dark World, where Ganon apparently reigns supreme. And now that we're in the Dark World, if you walk into the front gate of Hyrule Castle in the Light World, you will automatically return to this part of the area there. And if you look around, there are... S oh, there's one. We have to do that one. I guess we have to do that one first. Or you're supposed to. I mean, you know, obviously we don't have to. And I'm pretty sure we can. I don't recall what item you get from this dungeon, but... What I'm going to do is... At the end of my last block of videos there, when I... I played ahead just to you know, see some... Because obviously you saw how I had to go back and get the third pendant again. So I... When I noticed that, I went to go do that to just see what the deal was, and stupidly I played ahead a little bit, which kind of removes some of the randomness. But I'm going to get something that's over that I know is over here simply because it is going to make this game immensely easier for me, because I'm pretty bad at adventure games, as you can tell. But in here is just the dude who's like, hey, I think he's supposed to give you 300 rupees. And he's like, here's money, don't tell anybody. But in here is a couple chests where we get the red tunic. The, I think it reduces all damage you take to a quarter. Or, is this the half one? Which one is first? I think the red one is first, and then you get the blue one. But I think this reduces all damage to half. I'm not sure. One of them is half, the other is half again, so a quarter. Uh, I just knew it was there, and I'm going to cheat a little bit. And Now, apparently, uh, one of the things the randomizer part of the... The randomizer program itself teaches you is it'll let you open the... Uh, the coding so you can see where it randomized things. I have not done that. Uh, I honestly don't even know how, I just know it's possible. But I did, you know, so I found that by playing ahead. I think I completed uh, the first, or this dungeon over here, and went to go to the second one, and found that cave, and was like, oh, oh, um, I should remember that this is here, so I can cheat and grab it ahead of time. 
Because, yes, bad at Zelda. Bad at anything, really. Uh, there's this thing over here. I don't know if this has any significance on here. There's just this tree who's like, oh, I'm terrible. I, I don't... Honestly, I don't remember what this guy is actually talking about because I never come in here normally. So, like, <laughs> the fact, he could be saying literally anything and I have no idea. But this is just like a refill station where there's just some hearts. Uh, so, I have a quite or not a question, more like a conclusion that I'm, I think I'm coming to is that what I'm going to attempt to do is have that's not okay it is that way now we need to come this way or this maze took me forever to figure out when I was a small actually no that's not the right way there's, there's no reason to go over there at all and I remember, like, when I was playing ahead, as I was speaking about earlier, I kept trying to go through there going, Why can't I make it through the rest of the dungeon? Well, that's why, because there's no way to go that way. Oh, wait, that's right, we have to go... You can sort of tell where the path is by these kind of weird-looking things. And I picked up a monkey, and he's like, Can I have ten rupees? Sure, you can have ten rupees. Now, you need this monkey, so you can't get hit, because if you get hit, he decides to fuck off. See, there he goes. And now I have to go get him, and I believe I have to pay him again. Because... Douche nozzle. Yeah. Yes, ten rupees. And the thing is, is that if you, like, don't have the money that I do, like right now, you can get kind of stuck, because you need him to help you open this door. And he's gonna want a hundred rupees to open the door. And if you sit there, and if you're bad like me and you get hit and he <laughs> it's like he keeps taking 10 rupees just to come back eventually you can run out of money and not be able to get in the door and then you have to go farm for rupees so you can actually get in there uh, I don't remember this dungeon at all if you recall you can't really go obviously we can't go in the front we don't have a key But the, the conclusion, as I was talking about five seconds ago before I got off topic about the monkey, the conclusion that I would come to was that I was going to... Wow, the big key already? That's not supposed to be that. I think that's supposed to be like the compass. But I was going to try to have about four projects going at once. Obviously, I don't do videos every day because uh, I don't really have the... Well, it's not that I don't have the ability. It's that Sometimes, oh crap, <laughs> you know, so I have, sometimes I have to, you know, I have to record at night, and sometimes I don't have the energy, or I get involved in something else, and, you know, just don't, because lazy. But I was wondering, I try to have one, uh, oh, damn it, get out of the way. One RPG project going, which right now is Final Fantasy VII. I will eventually get back to that, I swear. Thank you. Uh, one strategy RPG project, which is Fire Emblem. As of recording this, I am currently in the middle of trying to upload all four parts of episode or chapter eight. Damn it. Damn it! I'm just not... Thank you. <laughs> I have such horrible trouble fighting those guys. But... So, like, uh, those two things, and then a specialty project, which is, you know, at Grandia... 
or the Mega Man, you know, Clock Tower for Creeptober and, you know, the Mega Man Challenge with Ryan. And the fourth project I was thinking would be... Oh, that's right, this is the dungeon you get the hammer. Would be some kind of adventure game, like the Randomizer. But I was also playing uh, the Metroid 2 remake, the one that Nintendo told them to knock it off. So I was thinking of doing something similar to what uh, B-Dude is doing with Zelda, and just do it with Metroid, playing the uh, the games in sort of the chronological order to like tell the story of Metroid, the series. But I was, rather than play the NES one, because, you know, like, Johnny did that way better than I can ever attempt to do, because that game is just ridiculous. I was going to do Zero Mission, then the Metroid 2 remake, then Super Metroid, then Metroid Fusion. And I really couldn't do anything else, because, you know, Prime and Other M and all that are on Nintendo consoles that I don't have access to. But yeah, that was the idea. Something I was thinking about doing. So, and if you guys want to see that, you know, let me know. Obviously, you don't have to, because you don't have to do anything, because it's YouTube, not the government. But yeah, so, that's just the thing that I was considering. I mean, I like those games. I'm somewhat decent at them. I mean, I'm not, you know, speedrunner or sequence breaker. But I can do, I can, you know, I can complete the games, it's not... ...beyond my capability there. I see that arrow there, you can actually, like, jump over that gap for some strange reason. I don't honestly understand why. It's kind of just the thing. Um... This the front. Yeah, okay, so... I just sort of connected that there. Uh, the turtles, you need the hammer to uh, knock them onto their back before you can kill them. You can obviously blow a hole down here. I, I don't think you need to go down this one. Oh, wait, yeah. Kind of do. Oh, I have a key. So I believe that just goes back upstairs. That just gives you another key. Stupid, get off my switch so I can get up there. There we go. And right, now we're back up here. Oh yeah, so Metroid or the other the other option I was considering was there is a uh a sort of independent game that was released in 2012. Well, it was released much earlier than that, but the remake version for the WiiWare or was released in 2012. Okay. Oh, now I know what I need to do. Or just fall down there. Thanks. Thanks, game. Thanks for putting a dude, like, right there. Oh, and the arrow just sails right over his head. And so does that. <sighs> this is ether. <sighs> but it's called La Mulana. It is a adventure-type game similar to uh, this, or Metroid, you know, basically a collect-a-thon with some bosses and stuff, and it's actually pretty fun, and I'm not very good at it either, but 
if you want to see that instead of the Metroid quote unquote saga, I'll do that. Stupid microphone. But uh, that's about it for this episode. Next time we will complete the rest of this dungeon and move on to dungeon two, I guess. There's really not much. There's really not much else to do except go around and complete the palaces and pick up treasure along the way. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support and have a good night.